Yeah, come Let's on. Take it back to some hip hop. <laughs> the poet, and you know it. You know it. Ride with me. Who is to bring it to the forefront? Forefront. Light dice shooting, squatting at the storefront. While a team walk in, trying to buy a blunt. But let me be blunt and right to the point. Do you hear me, Did you hear what I said last week, black people? I want you to hear me this week, black people. Can you hear my voice? You're never alone. Just pay attention to what I got to say. And by the way, the opinions on this show is made by me. If you have a problem, you can check out LB Clyde. You can check out Chelsea Clyde. Just don't sue me, because I ain't got no money. What's up? This is Vigilante for ReasonForRhymes.com in two minutes and some change, and I'm back in the building. Let's talk about Mr. R&B himself, Robin Thicke. Well, brother, you want it? R&B, you love the culture, we got no problem with that, man. But guess what? What comes with this culture being a big-time R&B lover boy is trouble. You got to keep your hands to yourself. You got caught with your hands in the cookie, and Miss Paula Patton wants a divorce. Now, you flew back to try to make it up to her. Hey, man, you better get to singing, come out with an album, and profess your love, man. But you was balling a couple uh, months ago with T.I. in your video, your naked girls dancing, and you forgot about your wifey. Your wifey, man. You're about to lose your boo. What you gonna do, man? But hey, you're in R&B. You know that music that's dying, that black people seem like they don't want to uh, participate in, that Chris Brown and Rihanna don't want to participate in, and you and Justin Timberlake is getting so much props for her, but they use it to your advantage. Won't you sing a nice little love song? Do an album dedicated to her, and you'll get your boo back, man. If you don't believe me, go ahead and ask Key Sweat, because you can beg in R&B. Go ahead and beg. Sing it. Go ahead. Keith, probably think. You know, Steve Stott was on Hot 97, and he was asked who he think is the five most popping um, entities of hip-hop that got the most influence on the culture. He named Dr. Dre. He named Jay-Z, he named Diddy, and he named Kanye West, but he really couldn't name a fifth one. And then when Angie Martinez asked him, what about 50 Cent? He said, well, 50 Cent ain't had a hit since 2007, and uh, the song I Get Money. And basically, he said to me, 50 Cent fell off. And now that 50 Cent is independent, he said that maybe he can make, you know, some good songs and won't blame, you know, the label. To me, I think you're hating on 50 Cent. I think 50 Cent do, does not get the props he deserved from where he came from to where he's at now. And he's still making movies. He got the vitamin, he had the vitamin water deal. You still see him around. He got this is 50.com. He's doing a whole lot of different things with his own headsets. I think you're tripping. Steve, stop. Stop hating. You know what? You know what you're going to get later on in the show. But stop hating. I know you're big. You got big influence. Who gives a damn? 50 Cent should be that fifth one on that team. And that's that's word. And that's my opinion. And I stand by it. Peace. Yeah. Let's go back. Time traveling. Back to the future. You know what's a shame? Yeah. Earlier on the show, I talked about Robin Thicke and all that good stuff. But on the real tip, it's a shame that R&B is taking a dive. And we're watching it die. All the years, all the tradition, temptation, OJs, and then we can fast forward to New Edition, Drew Hill. We can go to Jodeci. We can go to In Vogue, Brownstone, Jade, you name it. All the R&B groups, the solo artists in R&B. What the hell is happening? Everybody's running to pop and forgetting, and we're forgetting about R&B. We're letting it die. You think about from 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, down the millennium, name more than three R&B groups out there, female or male. They don't exist. There's a lot of solo artists, but the groups, where are they? Then you got the stars that started off in R&B going straight to pop. So hopefully Neo, Chris Brown, can get back to some R&B. I don't get it, man. We just throw everything that we work hard for away. We, it's only good for sampling now, right? Or, better yet, if R&B seems to only be good 
when white groups are doing it. Robin Thicke, like I said, Justin Timberlake. They have no problem. They admire the music. The Beatles admired music that had to do with soul. What the hell happened to our young artists where we don't want to do R&B and the ones that do, do R&B don't get the respect. You had TGT out. How much did they sell? You know, you got Charlie Wilson in his 60s holding it down for R&B. Mr. Big is still holding it down for R&B, but yet our young brothers and sisters are running away from R&B and they completely ignore Neo Soul, which is a great sound and great music. It's R&B. What's the deal? When will we understand that our music is important and when we don't make it important, it goes away and people go and take what they want from it. And then when they blow up on it, like Robin Thicke, we get mad and say they biting. But hey, one man's trash is another, man, it is another man's treasure. Blues, jazz, does that two styles ring a bell to you? We do it again, black people. Wake up before R&B die. Yeah, let's go back. Time traveling. Back to the future. Now, what would it be without me bringing up Smack of the Week? Yeah, it's popular, and I got to bring it back. So let's line them up so we can smack the hell out of them. Let's start. I got the little list. Let's start right now. Raymond Felton for getting caught with guns and getting charged in New York when you know what happened to the Plexico Burris. Wake up. Hold up. Hold the chin straight right there. Raymond Felton, you get a <laughs> for that. Let's go to somebody else. Back of the week. Robin Thicke, you got a bad woman. She is beautiful. Woo! Fine. And you get caught with that hussy? Are you serious? You gonna give up that for this? Hold up. I know you R&B, so I'll take it easy. You get a for that. Last but not least, Jerry Jones. 25 years of owning the Dallas Cowboys. Started off, got your three Super Bowl, then you fell in love with Tony Romo, the great white hope for, the, for America's team. And you're mediocre. 8 and 8 is all you Dallas Cowboys fans will ever be until you trade Tony Romo. So, Tony, Jerry, because you're so in love with him, even though you're 136 and 136, Average record after 1997, you get a your older soul. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna respect my elders Smack for that. It's been vigilante. See you next week. Peace. Oh, my swag and legacy, so believable, incredible, consistency, clearly written legible. J A double Z. That's a couple well sites I want to give props to. You know, when I had Ratchet Girl out, let me tell you something. Shot97.com, Star Live and Direct represented that song. Heavy, very heavy, and DJ Elias, I get them props. So if you're scrolling through the internet, hit shot97.com up. You can check out his show from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Also, yourblackworld.com, reasonforrhymes.com, brothersonsports.com. Check out those websites. Those are the websites that's popping right now. Real talk. This show, Two Minutes and Change, was brought to you by Chauncey Clyde. You know, be that boy. Check him out in the stores and check out what he got up next. Peace. Yeah. Come Let's on. Take it back to some hip hop. <laughs> the poet and you know it. You know it. Ride with me. Who is the bring it to the forefront? Like dice shooting, squatting at the storefront. While a team walk in trying to buy a blunt. But let me be blunt and right to the point. Now set this joint with the green that'll make you lean. Like a fiend or a fiend that leans. So put your ears to the speaker and hear and visualize what I mean. What your eyes see and your ears hear. Who's the hottest artist out here in your mind? The hottest artist right now? Damn. Uh, ooh. Locally or nationally? Mm, nationally. Nationally, the hardest, the hottest MC out right now. Ooh, goodness. 
they all in the same box to me. Um, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the damn hottest artist. But, um, oh, man, I can't. I'm drawing blanks. Uh, I guess you would say Drake. The, the usual suspects right now. To somebody come and take it. I like, I like my young boy from Mississippi. Was Big Brick. Uh, oh, Big Brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. And um, J. Cole, I like Lupe, you know. So Tech Nine, Tech Nine, you know, doing his thing. He's hot, but you're hot, you know, underground, you know, it's totally different. So I don't damn know. I'm the damn hottest. Now what? What? Uh, Next question. Underground, who's the hottest? Who? Underground. Ah, uh, you I'm just hot. said you, bitch. I'm the damn hottest <laughs> now, but besides me, you know, my boy Justin Clyde be popping. You know, um, Rich the Factor, you know, he's always, he's, he's king of the underground, ain't he? You know, so younger MCs are coming up, still got show and prove and stuff. I'm probably missing a thousand people, but uh, underground that I know of, I think what Dr. Dre had somebody rapping. It was a tape that came out with some some guy from um, I want to say Mississippi was doing a freestyle, man. Whoever that rapper is that was with Dr. Dre, y'all know the name. Email me. That dude is cold from Mississippi, and Dr. Dre was he was um at the house with Dr. Dre, and he that that young dude is dope. You know, Joe Buttons, I like Joe Buttons, he ain't underground, but, you know, Crooked Eyes, another uh, 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 underrated MC, so that's underground. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when I said verbal weapons, and when I converse 86 shots on MCs from 19 and older, I was talking about 1986, Converse Weapon Shoe with Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Bar.